What's up, everybody? My name's Cam. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Die, die seven. Day seven. Good God. And uh, contrary to the title of the um, game, I'm not going to die on day seven. It doesn't end here. This isn't the end. That's just part of the original lore that I was telling you. Ooh, a deer. I don't think you get any meat from them. Anyway, before I jump off and stuff, I was going to say um, Alpha Patch 1.1 came out uh, this week. You have to manually download it. It doesn't download automatically. But what they put in there is now there's Mac support. So if you wanted to play it on a Mac, you can. Um, they put in a recipe for being able to make brick, decayed brick, and paved redwood. Um, they fixed a bunch of error issues that was coming up when the game would crash and the little console thing would come up. They improved the memory management so it doesn't use so much memory every time. And, uh, let's see, they fixed the bug where the big fatties were tearing down the stairs. I'm sure y'all remember seeing them, you know, destroy my stairs. And I didn't seem to really see a whole lot of damage here this time. That's cool. Alright, make sure we're good here. I'm going to go take out a tree real quick because I need a couple, uh, I need some more wood, basically. Some plain Jane wood. And, uh, fi they fixed a few other bugs things of, like, the when the zombies get stuck and they dance on the stairs, which is just funny to see. They fixed that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of other things they put in there, like bug fixes and stuff. That's it? There's not much to that, man. Not much to that at all. Alright, last time was covered in fail, and I'm glad so many of you enjoyed watching me die. Um, I know I've lost a few viewers since the very first couple episodes, and, you know, it, it always sucks, but I'm glad those of you who stuck with me and stuff really enjoy it still, and... Hopefully you guys will continue to watch it, but I have a goal in mind for what I want to do today. I'm actually going to start and doing some mining here. I'm going to try not to die, try not to run into my own friggin' sticks again, and do some mining in here. Uh, let's see, put down... I will do dirt. I'm going to end up with plenty of this. I might as well go ahead and use it now. Put that right there. We'll stack it on top. We'll do... I don't know what that just was. That's that's weird. I'm not sure why I decided to do that. But I'm going to do some mining today because I need a bunch of supplies. And I'm only going to get that from mining. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig down and I'm going to try and get myself to a safe spot. So the stuff that you can find under here, you can find like iron phosphate. You can find um, iron ores and stuff, which right at the moment, at least from what I've read... You can't use those to craft into, like, iron ingots yet. I know it's dark, but I have a plan of what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down a little ways, and then... So if you can't see anything while I'm talking stuff, it's it's really dark for me, too. So don't fret. There's You're not missing much. I'm digging straight down. Which I know in Minecraft world and stuff, this is a horrible idea. Like, you never dig straight down. What is your problem? But you can see I've already covered up a little bit here. Let's see. We got put you right there okay now there's my torches there we go okay so now you can see I got a torch going on here and I'm just kind of digging straight down um, I'm hoping if I get far enough down they'll leave me alone and I can just get oh I was about to say that I didn't put out much light but it's way up there too so I'm gonna get down and dig a little bit and then I'm gonna go Minecraft style and I'm gonna dig a little tunnel so this may be a boring episode for some people but this has come to a point where it's a necessary evil um, I want to be able to fortify my house and so I need to be able to find some iron so I can make some like steel trusses and I need some fire and phosphate so I can make some gunpowder because I don't have it you know this right here that's all the ammo I have for a shotgun and that just sucks <laughs> This looks really bad, yo. So anyway, yeah, um, that's pretty much the goal of the day here. Let me see, I'm going to throw another torch up right there. Okay, that should be far enough down to where they're going to leave me alone. And uh, if all works well, I'm going to try and do something a little different. I might try and use one of these explosive barrels to mine, because you guys haven't got to see how much that can screw a whole bunch of stuff up really quick. So, come on, break. Now, one thing I'll tell you about mining and stuff is it can be a little bit finicky. You can be hitting the block that you're aiming at here, and everything looks like it's going good, and it could, you know, accidentally hit the block above it, which sucks when you got a torch on there and it breaks breaks that block out. I don't know which direction I came down. I'm trying to think of, let's see, did I dig straight down here and that way's towards the outside? I don't remember. I'm not too worried about it, but I hope I can find some stuff here pretty soon. I gotta remember where I came in at, and I don't know exactly what all of it looks like here. I know that it looks different than just a regular stone. But anything what's good is about this stone is I can use this to fortify around the house instead of just wood. It's a little bit more um, 
dependable than wood. Not an entirely large amount, but y you know, you know how it is. Give me that. What is this? Stone. Yay! That's what I already had. Okay, we're gonna do the whole Minecraft stairs thing and go down. I know this is gonna take a while. But it is what it is. It's one of these things you gotta do to keep going with it. I do hope you guys are enjoying the series and stuff before. You know, if you if you do enjoy the video at all, as I've said before, be sure to leave a like on it and you know leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. I've had quite a few people ask me how much the game costs. Um, I always put the link to the website where you can check it out. It's in the video description, um, along with you know all my uh, social media things. So you should follow me on Twitter and Facebook stuff like that and keep up with when I upload and. Oh, here's something new and stuff like that, but the game is $35 right now and that gives you access to it while it's in alpha Now kind of like with Minecraft as soon as you have an alpha you get free access to all the upgrades What did that give me? Coal ore. So with coal ore you can use it to make, uh, let's see Coal ore gives you lumps of coal and with lumps of coal you can use that you can actually make t uh, coal torches um, It's used towards gunpowder I think I'm not a hundred percent certain don't quote me on that one just yet Because I don't exactly remember at least I'm getting far enough down here to where I know where I'm at okay let's see I'm gonna do a torch I brought some stuff with me to make supplies put one torch there okay now Stuff is lit up. I like this dynamic lighting. That's always something I asked for even back when Notch was working on Minecraft is to improve dynamic lighting. So if you have a torch in your hand, it lights up the area that you're at, you know, like this does. See, it's dark. Poof, it's light. You don't have to just stick it to the wall to actually get light. And I like that right there where you, if you stop working on a block, it doesn't go back to, it doesn't get back its damage. And like this, I can stop working on it. Ooh, did you see that spark? Potassium nitrate. Yeah, baby. This is the stuff you can use to make um, Potassium nitrate you get this powder here. So it gives you 10 of it and with that you can go through and make gunpowder You can use it with TNT to make explosives I need to make sure not to dig too deep. Okay, got my stairs going down here. I Just need to make sure I can find my way back out I don't want to get into a situation where I'm screwed, you know and stuck down here or anything But oh check that out. I think that's coal can't tell. I didn't. Ooh, that's gonna be a little bit harder to break right there. But I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna work it, baby. Let's see what I can find. Now, I may do a little bit of a shorter video on this one, and uh, that way it's not the entire time of just me just mining and stuff. But um, I'm really enjoying playing this game, and I'm looking to see, looking forward to seeing where they come and go with it next. And break. I don't know what you are, but you're taking a while. I do have the supplies to make another pickaxe if I need to. I brought in this, uh, enough stuff to make, I think, two more pickaxes because I figured I'd probably need it. Now, I'm getting out of this hole. Pardon the yawn. It's 1 a.m. right where I'm at here. I'm recording. And, uh, so it's a little bit on the late side. Got up early. Got the new basketball goal set up. Where are you? Lead ore. See? Hold on. Where's lead? Where'd it go? Stones, gravel, dirt. I don't need you in my inventory here. Lead ore. Will it work? Yeah, see, right now it doesn't give you lead ingots. Right now it's useless. It even says that in the actual wiki itself. It's like, this crap is useless. But eventually it's planned to where lead ore can be crafted into lead ingots, which would just be absolutely wonderful because the only way you can get lead ingots now is if you find scrap metal and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, like I said, I'm probably going to keep this to be a shorter video just because I'm all I'm doing is mining and I don't want to bore you guys. And I'm going to keep doing this after I'm recording and stuff and just try and find as much stuff as possible. And, um, I mean, I told you guys I would try and do a little bit of barrel mining. What is taking so long to break this one? Stone, stone. Um, but the problem is that the barrels explode in a huge freaking radius I mean it is giant how much damage they do so if I'm gonna do that I've got to get to coal or I've got to get a big giant ways back so that I don't die myself and it definitely clears out an area but something I haven't figured out yet with the TNT that I haven't tested is if it destroys the blocks or if it just blows them up and then you can pick them up like TNT in Minecraft you know when it creates a crater in the world Yeah, let's see. If I was standing right here and I shot there, yeah, it would still kill me. That's going to be one of those we're going to test it out here. I have a, I don't have a pistol on me, so I'm hoping the shotgun has enough range. Ugh, I want to test this out, but I also don't want to die. I've died from a barrel in a test world once before just to see what it would do. And 
Well, it kind of sucked, to be honest. It kind of did, yeah. Break. There you go. Get all the stone laying around here, just in case it does, actually. Whoops. Wow, that was violent sounding. All right, let's see. Pickaxe. Stink. Give me that pickaxe. I got enough to make... Do I have enough to make another one? No, I don't. Oh, I'm going to have to use this cautiously. Ooh. I thought I had enough stuff with me. I guess I was miscalculated or something. I need to get some more... I need to get some more iron. It is dark down here. hope you guys can see this. Hold on. Let me put a torch up. There. They yeah, have made a good little mining little system thing going on here. Okay, so that is breaking open here. I'll get the top one going real quick. I'm hoping I have a lot of this stone and I can use this to completely fortify my house a little bit better than what I have now because wood obviously doesn't last very long. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit. I don't know the blast radius on these barrels. I really don't want to accidentally blow a hole and blow myself up and then not be able to get down here, you know, because that would suck. So I'm really just kind of playing safe. So I'm going to get to work and put a barrel in. I'm going to blast that some B and then I'm going to call it a night. So stick around, watch it blow up. Come on, break. I think this pickaxe is going slower than it was. Ooh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta make sure and get that. I don't want to accidentally blow that up just in case, because that's stuff I actually need too. I think that's more of that potassium. Potassium. Sound like I developed an extra accent on top of my, my already existing one. It's potassium. That's the uppity stuff. That's more high class than your standard potassium. You wouldn't know, hipster glasses. Okay, let's see. I'll dig this one out. Maybe I can put a barrel in there and I'll see how far back it is. I really don't want to die. I wonder if it's taking me. Hold on. That's why it's taking so long to mine this stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Like Hercules now. I didn't even notice it. I'm freaking back, baby. One more and then I'll do a barrel. That should be far enough. Okay, get all this stuff real quick. Surely that's far enough. Surely. But you know what? Real quick, just in case I decide to die, what I'm going to do is put this up here. Uh, put my torches down. Let's keep this. That way if I die, the only thing I'll lose is my shotgun and a barrel. Put you down right cha. Okay, let's see if I can get up a little bit higher. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. Okay, good. It didn't kill me. I didn't die. That's a that's a lot of smoke in there. All right, let me get my torch out here. Uh, did I just drop them? Idiot. There we go. Let's just go see what it did here. Holy monkey! Here, let's put a torch up right there. <gasps> Holy crap! Check this out. Did I hit some weird catacomb system? Look at that! Hallelujah! Either that or it just that's the way it blasted out stuff. Apparently it Oh no, don't fall down there. Yeah. That is awesome. Check that out, baby. Now this is a mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna work in this area for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one and I will catch you later.